Welcome to a video. Okay, uh, collecting some eggs because what I'm doing today is I'm gonna put them in the incubator. <laughs> An incubator basically has eggs. All right, so there are the chickens. All right, so um, I got many more in here because there were some over there. I went in, I had to go in the coop and then go over there. So now I'm gonna put these last two in there and we're gonna head over to the incubator. All right, so now we are at the incubator. First, before we put the eggs in, we have a couple of prep work things to do. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh come down that. No, no. Let's hold the fragile incubator. Okay, let's put this towel underneath it. I'm gonna lift it up. You're gonna put it underneath it. Not that far. Okay. What are you gonna lift up? The incubator. Go. Cool. In case there's any leaks. Mm hmm Leaks from water. Okay. Now we got the water. And we got the ice, we got the incubator. So guys, what this tray does is when the eggs are in it, it'll rock them ever so slowly, like once an hour. Um, this it'll move and there's the motor. And every like hour or so it'll rock it from side to side. This water creates the humidity that's necessary for the eggs to hatch. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing about water and humidity, it doesn't matter how deep it is, it's all about surface area. That's why I'm putting just a little bit in each one. And, and you see it has these four drains. Pa, in case we get can too you much. tell us what of why we need the humidity and what it acts like in the real mother chicken? Well, when the eggs are underneath the mother chicken, the hen, uh -huh. they're warm down there. They're also humid because she sometimes pees on them. Are you sure? And that level I of thought you said it was sweat. Humidity could be some sweat too, but definitely some pee. Oh, okay. Well. And that level of humidity in the nest keeps the eggs and the membrane inside the eggs at a certain humidity and temperature level and it's very important because if it dries out if the membrane dries out then it'll suck in from the egg and the baby chick won't be able to hatch and if the eggs drop down in temperature or get too hot then they won't be able to hatch either okay are we ready to put the eggs in all right so now we have the water in the bottom we have this little tray that just kind of catches the chicks if they when they hatch out this is the little heater fan. Now we're going to put each of the eggs in this big turning tray. Well, this is the motor that turns. Mm -hmm. So they rotate back and forth. Now, very important when you place the egg, you have to place it up. You have a small side. Everybody see that? Small side and big side. The big so side always goes down. Place the eggs. Uh -huh. Small side down. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Because the big size is where the head is, right? Well, it's all over. That's where it rotates, so it doesn't really stick to the shell. Because mm -hmm, if it sticks to the shell, it has to, it's going to rip and bleed and then die. Conventional wisdom is that the small side goes down. And then we're going to want to start putting in all sorts of mouths. And um, this is going to be another one of my series, go, so go I am going more. to Spacing. do it to where. Oof! And you have a couple eggs that need to go in? So, I'm going to film uh, day after day and stuff. And when the chicks hatch, you guys get to see that. So, yep, this okay. is going to be another series. Okay. I can't put my videos in series. Uh, I'll stay more. Yeah, move that one over. We're going to kind of space them out. We're going to socially distance these eggs. <laughs> one in between. <laughs> But they're still in the middle. That's kind of where the heat is. You guys get to the edge. Sometimes they get a little cold. All right. All right. Yeah, and then they now, don't make it. Now this is the brains of the operation. Yes, that's me. My name's Pop. Uh, no, I'm talking about the incubator. 
Yeah, that's funny. All right, go ahead and turn it on. Is that bomb button? Mm -hmm. So is it on? It will light up on top. So for those of you listening at home, a way to troubleshoot this, if nothing comes on, make sure that you have it plugged in, okay? That's the first thing. See this plug? This needs to go in the power outlet. Oh. <laughs> Annabelle. <laughs> hey, I didn't know. That's so okay. Turn it. Plug out know, the plug in under. Yeah. So go down there and plug it in. Send it down. To you. It's easier if you go Can this you way. It? Pa, no, pa, go this way. Pa, no. no. I want to go. Why? But then it's. So I want it to go. So then it's harder. Okay. Closer to the source. If we go this way, we have to go one at a distance. All right. John's gonna plug it in. All right. Where are they? Right there. Oh. Going underneath. You're good. <gasps> oh. It turned on. Powered up. Right. Gonna go through some settings. Maybe 33. Now, guys, look at these settings here. Day 23. We need to reset that. There we go. Reset. All right. See how the day changed to zero? Mm -hmm. Countdown. So every two hours, it's gonna that thing inside is gonna rotate the eggs. And then we have humidity 44, 48. This is going to rise up steadily because it's starting to register that water in there as the fan turns around. And then the temperature is at 22.3. Should be going up. So you'll see those numbers change as the whole thing solidifies and comes together. Make sure we have a tight seal all the way around. Yes, we do. We don't want any of that heat or humidity losing because if it loses humidity, like if you open this when it's mid of working, then it's gonna beep. And if the if the top is off for too long, it will affect the eggs and they won't be able to hatch. That's right. So in a closed system like this, we should only have to add water to keep the humidity up every three or four days or so. But we always want to monitor the temperature. All right. So. We can come back and check this in about 10 minutes and we'll see if those settings have changed and been stabilized. All right. So, same time. One broke, so we had to buy a new one. The one with the clear glass, which you're currently watching a time lapse of one of the chicks hatching. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what color it is or what it looks like. You have to watch the entire video. So. In the next upcoming video, so part two of the chicks, you, all of them should be hatched, and then you can see them as they grow up. I'll be doing check-ins, and then, yeah. So that's the reason why there are two incubators in there, and there's a heads up that, and all that fun stuff around property
follow up day. We got three that have hatched this one. Just hatched. Uh, and these two hatched a couple hours ago. And, uh, yeah. Then we have more on the way. We got one with crack there. So, they're gonna be all done soon. Let me bring you, how about I bring you guys over to, uh, where we have the other chicks. Alright, here they are. So, we got, so, here, um, So, here we have uh, William, this is William, and this one does not have a name yet. This one is for you guys to name. You guys get to name this one. So, uh, write the names in the comments, and I will pick the one that we like best and that will be the new name for him because at the moment he's just unknown he doesn't have a name all right see you up see you in the next follow-up all right another follow-up so this one just hatched a couple like minutes ago um so now we have five in here four hatched yesterday and then we have the other two that are already outside so yep, that's how well it's coming so far all right see you in the next video